So this is completely miscellaneous, but I just wanted to remind our listeners, I encountered somebody the other day who runs their Kindle battery to the ground. That is, they read and read and read and read, and actually my mom does that too. But I do too. I'm not going to try to change her behavior. I do it too. I is it to bad to do that? Very bad. Oh. Lithium ion batteries hate that. Um, I've done, just in the last few months, I did a lot of research into the care and maintenance of lithium ion uh, batteries for the whole portable sound blaster project. Right. And I saw, again, uh, a lot of information that says you re that's not the way to get the maximum lifetime out of lithium ion batteries. Now, it's one thing if the batteries are removable, but increasingly on our electronics devices, they're not. Kindle's batteries are not user serviceable. They used Mac to be. Air. They were in the first yep. one. Not anymore. Yep. yep. Mac Air batteries are not. iPhone, iPod, and so forth batteries are not. So I just wanted to say to our listeners, what lithium-ion batteries want is to stay charged. So, the, it, I mean, if you want to get the maximum lifetime out of them, just in the same way that pho phones generally stay charged because... They, they have such a short lifetime of use that people get into the habit of docking them, you know, at the end of every day, sometimes even at work, they'll, they'll plug them in to bring them back up. So, but something like the Kindle or like, you know, the Air and so forth, in general, if you can, plug them in. So it's just, again, hmm. pure miscellany, but uh, I, I just, every time I encounter people running their batteries to the, to the ground, I think, ooh, lithium ion doesn't like that. See, it's the reason people do it is because that was the thing to do with nickel metal hydride. Exactly. You wanted NICADs. to fully, and NICADs too, you want to fully discharge because of the memory effect. Exactly. And so that absolutely is the wrong it's the, procedure it's for lithium ion. It's the opposite for lithium ion. Let's just remember this, folks. So you're saying whenever you have the opportunity, plug it in. Yes. Smartphone, you'll, 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 anything. Yep. This is Kindle, good to know. You'll, you'll yeah. get much, much more lifetime if, if you keep those guys charged up. So you just don't want to deplete happen. them all the way. Right. Is, is that the issue? Is, is letting it go all the way down? Well, it's just the, the, the nature of the way at the molecular level that the chemistry works is the, the chemistry of the battery is, is happier <laughs> for lack of a deep electrochemical really interesting. Uh, explanation if you if you keep it charged the, the, they like to be charged and in fact if there there's one thing that can happen is that um that the batteries of unused devices will drop below a threshold and then they say that they're dead that uh, it, it's like they can't it's be not recharged. even yeah. it cannot be recharged there is uh, there's actually some circuitry a, on every single cell that that prevents the cell from being overcharged, that creates a tiny drain on the cell, which is why if you don't use your device for a long time, and then like you pick it up after a few months, you'll find it died, even though you weren't using it. It's because there's a little bit of drain on lithium ion cells, which is part of the of the of the cell protection circuitry. So again, keeping it charged makes it happier. Hmm. Wow, that's really good information. Thank you. I'm going to um, plug in everything. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, like I, your I, laptop. You should leave your laptop plugged in when it's in, on the desk. Yes, hmm. yes. And, and what will happen is sometimes the, the laptop battery management circuitry or actually the software will say, you know, we need to do a couple charge cycles to, to, to recalibrate our battery meter. And that's an explicit sort of reconditioning process that the, that the laptop will take you through. Normally, you leave it plugged in, and the circuitry itself st deliberately stops using the AC power, takes the battery all the way down, brings it all the way up, takes it all the way down, brings it all the way up. And that allows the, the metering circuitry to see how what the lifetime is in order to then properly guess what percentage of fullness the batteries are at any given time, but that'll you know that you'll generally get a pop up that says, "Hey, we need to do some some reconditioning." So you know, leave your laptop plugged in overnight, and we'll take care of it for you. Good to know. This is very useful. Thank you. Yeah.